hey guys welcome back to my channel again i want to thank you guys for tuning in i hope you guys are having a great day and i hope the rest of your week is even better so let's get started um so the question i asked the divine for you guys was what does the shadow self of the collective want them to know at this moment and as you can see that y'all have a changing line so that means i had to draw another hexagram so the first one is your past or your present energy. Remember, you can see yourself at the both ends of the spectrum. Um, and then the second one is your foreseeable energy. And then your changing line is your heart's perception, your emotional center, where you make and feel connections. So it's like, what is the shadow self, you, yourself, want y'all to know? It's like, what, like, I want, they want y'all to know something. And remember, your shadow self is a part of you. It is an aspect of you that wants to feel loved and nurtured. Because I feel like the shadow self gets a bad rap. But remember, if you talking down on your shadow self, that means you're talking down on yourself. Your shadow self is you. Just like your inner child is you. Your higher self is you. So it's like your shadow self wants to be noticed. It wants to be heard. Because your shadow self is a combination of trauma and things that have happened to it in the past and it's a part of you that you're still holding on to so your shadow self wants you to be aware of things that's going on right now so the first card is 56 so of course like i said you can see yourselves in any of this energy so let me get the book and read it well let me read the card first and i will read the book it says, to be the traveler means you are not at home here. You know you don't belong since you are only passing through your creative involvement is limited. You cannot expect to change your surroundings and nor should your surroundings change you. Be constant to your own way as you travel. What, what do you bring with you into the, each new situation? What does this place ask of you? Where are you going? So I love this card. So again, so this is your past or present energy. You are obviously traveling and moving on to bigger and better things. Even if you feel like you're not, like you're still moving forward. Hopefully that doesn't fall in. So let me, um, let me read 56 in the book. I remember y'all had a changing line. Was That was changing line number two. Okay, so let me see. It says the traveler. Let me take out and read this. The traveler is on is on a journey of his own, just passing through this place and staying for a while. To be the traveler means you are not at home here. Let me not read that again. It says, you know it does not define you. It says, as the traveler, you might be the king high. I think I said that right, hopefully. An early leader of the Shang. His people were nomads who stopped who stopped to pasture their animals at a place called Yi, which is change. They were welcomed by the local people until high danced for their ruler and seduced his wife. Damn, that's okay. Look, that's on you know that fall on both ends. Like the wife wrong for that, but anyway. Then the Yi ruler had high executed and took his herds, and his people fled. That is a traveler for y'all. If this resonates with y'all, don't go around sleeping with people's um, wives or husbands, like, because obviously it didn't work out for this man. Since you are only passing through, your creative involvement is limited. It says you can have the small success of being well-received if you fit in responsibly. Remember when I talk, talk, talked about learning, like learning the difference between responding and reacting? The reason why I said that because that word just popped out. It says, rather than dancing your own dance, regardless of where you are, you cannot expect to change your surroundings. As high discovered, this can be a difficult balance to keep. Be true to yourself and still fit into a place that is not your own. So this is basically telling me like, it, it, like a, whatever resonates with y'all, like some of y'all could be in an environment a friend group or whatever resonates with y'all where it just don't fit. And it's, it's telling me that some of y'all are trying to make your personality or just mold yourself into what people want to see. And that's not going to work. That you, in order for you to be, be careful of your surroundings at the end of the day, I'll just say that. 
but also to be just notice that to be your true self you don't have to be what everybody wants you to be you don't have to live how people want you to live you don't have to do any of that just be yourself at the end of the day and those people will fall behind you are a traveler remember at the end of the day you don't have to stay in that environment if you don't want to and i encourage you not to continue to move forward and be your true so don't allow people or anything to to get you out of character to lower your vibration don't allow them to do anything because once you do that they they have you gave them that power they can control you they can manipulate you remember you have the the right or the power to put your power in people's hands you can do that they can't take that away from you so when you're not being your true self you are giving people power over you so um uh -oh. It says, um, okay, so remember y'all's changing line was ch line number two. So line two says, traveler comes to a resting place, cherishes his own, gains a young helper, and comes to see. Okay, let me see if y'all could, it's the very top one. I probably can't, but I guess it's good to like have this there. You come to a safe resting place, but not arrived home. Like the traveler who keeps his valuable, safely on his person your precious assets are still those you carry with you which do not depend on the circumstances or responses you meet in these foreign places you stay loyal to your own ongoing journey find good help and support and continue steadily on your way so remember the line line number two is let me get this straight heart's perception your emotional center where do you make and feel connections so this is basically saying like it's like I said, stay loyal to your own ongoing journey. It's like by staying being connected with yourself, being your true self, you're connecting with your heart center, your emotional center. You're not allowing people to manipulate you, control you into doing something that you don't want to do or be somebody you're you're not meant to be. Because although the traveler is resting there, he's not allowing his surroundings to change him. Because remember, you've come to a safe resting place, but you've not arrived home. So even if you're in an environment that you still are growing in, as you're still learning the new people, places, things, or whatever, even if you feel, feel that you're still not at home where you want to be, it's okay to rest sometimes. But also keep in mind, don't allow any negativity from outside forces to affect you and to divert you from your true journey, your own path. Remember, you're not meant to stay there. You're just resting. So when you so when you muster up the energy, you will continue going forward. So, and then also, I just wanted to like make notes it says, which it says your most precious assets are still those you carry with you, which do not depend on the circumstances or the responses you meet in these foreign places. So it's like you're not you're not codependent. Like, like you're not codependent on the these external forces that are around you like remember instead of reacting learn how to respond even if you're responding to somebody that's negative because when you're responding to negative people that means that you're you're still your true self at the end of the day you're not allowing their energy to get you out of character that means that they're just trying to project onto you because your energy is too intimidating some people don't know how to handle their own assets or their own emotions or their heart center. They don't know how to connect with themselves. So in turn, they want to make you feel how they feel, which is like shit or low vibrational. So don't allow them to do that. And your most precious asset can be your heart. Because remember, your line, line two is your heart space. So your most precious asset is your true self, your heart self, like your, your inner child, every part of your being. It doesn't have to be something actual physical. Like it doesn't have to be like um uh, like a material like money, cars, jewelry. It can be just your own being, your own energy that you need to protect yourself when you're in these places that you know is not your home. So since I have that one, let me one second. So like back to this card. So okay, so if this is your present energy, if you are here now. 
but you want to move here this card is basically saying it's like what do you bring into a new situation as far as your assets or anything that's that's valuable to you like what are you bringing with you are you bringing like your new energy a better energy are you bringing your true self is it your are you connected are you balanced within yourself because remember in order to manifest new beginnings in our lives we need to match that type of energy that high vibrational energy our, our energy needs to be in alignment because if the divine sees that you're not in alignment with your true purpose that means that they're going to continue to send you situations or things that will help you get there they're not doing it to hurt you they're doing it so you can learn from the situations so if you find yourself in this present energy and you're not moving forward ask yourself what is this what is this situation trying to teach me what lesson needs to be learned here so i can continue to move forward remember you are the traveler let me get this card straight you are the traveler you're not meant to just stay in one spot forever so decipher or be use your own discernment as to whatever lesson that needs to be taught here Learn it so you can move on, so you can travel. Remember, travel and creating small success. Remember what I said about success. Hopefully, I said that in the last um, the last video or even on my podcast. But small successes matter because when you continue to take those baby steps and build on these successes, you're gonna have a fucking legacy standing right in front of you. Your blood, sweat, and tears are gonna be standing right in front of you because of how successful you were when you came to your journey how you continue to be consistent you continue to move forward regardless of what was thrown your way and then it says what does this place ask of you so if this is your present energy right now what are you being asked of at this moment are you asked to be to let people go to let go of burdens that no longer resonate with you in order for you to move towards the vessel this this what well, this question could only mean something specific to each and every one of you. So ask yourself, what is this new place trying to ask me? And if I am trying to move forward, what are they asking me to let go of? And am I willing to let that go? And if you're not, find out this situation, play, person, place, or thing is either codependent or toxic. And if it is, if it no longer resonates with your energy, that means you need to let it go. Or that means you need to set up boundaries, even if you don't want to let people go. Set up boundaries. And if that person doesn't respect your boundaries and vice versa, then that means that y'all no longer are in alignment with each other, that y'all need to separate. Or you need to let go of a job because it's no longer fulfilling you. Although it's filling your pockets with money, you're not happy. You're miserable. You're not living out your passion. And then the last one is saying, where are you going? Especially if this is you right now, where are you going? Like, ask yourself, like, where am I going in the future? Where do I see myself moving forward? And and sometimes it's okay to ask those type of questions. Although the divine wants you to walk in faith and not in sight and to trust them, they say that it's okay to ask questions because who doesn't ask questions when they, they don't feel comfortable where they're going? Just because it's not comfortable doesn't mean it's not for you. Sometimes the most uncomfortable situations requires the most growth out of us so sometimes it's okay to be uncomfortable because you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable but regardless if you're comfortable or not the divine says it's okay to ask questions it's, it's okay to say where am i going because that means that that means you need to question your own energy and your own where you see yourself at this very moment so if you still are see yourself in toxic situ situations that basically are karmic you need to ask yourself like okay um like where am i going with this like this situation like uh, is this really for me and like and if i want to move forward to something better what is this asking of me what is it asking me to let go so it's like yes it's okay to ask these questions and it's also okay to know where you want to go and where you see yourself so you can stay consistent with your journey. So you can have a goal in mind, although growth is not linear, that goal will still be the same. That destination will still be the same for you. You're like, oh, I know where I'm going. I know who I am. But I know in order to get there, I'm going to have to make sacrifices. I'm going to have to let people go. Now, if this is your past energy, the rules still apply. That even though you could be in this energy right now, that means that you can fall back into this energy. You can fall back into a past situation. 
And I'm also getting that even if this is your past or your present energy, that means that somebody from your somebody or something doesn't have to be a, a romantic person. Something is coming back into your energy. Something, somebody or something is just coming back. And the divine wants you to discern whether or not you want to let this situation back in or this person, place, or thing. Ask yourself, where where am I going with this um, situation that's coming back? Do I see it moving uh, forward with me? And if not, let it go. But if you feel like, again, you should discern me. If you feel like this will be something good, maybe this has been a great opportunity. Maybe I'm now ready for this opportunity. Then sure, indulge in it. But if you find that it's not for you, don't dwell on it too much. Ask yourself, what do I need to learn from this lesson? What it, what is being taught for me, taught to me right here at this moment? And once you make peace with that, you can then move forward. And now you know that whatever opportunity that you thought was for you in the past, even if it came back, it's not actually for you. That was your, just e your ego telling you, hey, this opportunity is for us and let's do it. Although we missed out in the past, it's here now. So, like I said, again, probably for the hundredth time, growth is not linear. So you may have to revisit this past energy or this past energy may have to come back around because they are testing you testing your response to see how you're going to respond to the situation so if you respond in a way that's actually for your highest good then that means you're going to continue to move forward to create success good fortune look from the source the vessel that you're going to continue to move forward and you're not going to be stuck here no more that as a traveler traveler you're going to continue to travel forward remember about the what i just read from that passage that Although they knew that they were resting there, they knew that that was not their home. That was not where they're, they're supposed to be. They were just traveling through there. So again, if this is your past energy and this is you now, continue to ask yourself these questions. Continue to ask yourself, even if you're moving forward, where are you going? And what are you bringing into each new situation? Especially if you feel like something is coming back for you and you feel conflicted. If you feel conflicted about a situation, that means you, it's time for self-reflection. And this means that this is testing you. So if it's a quick no, then great. But if it's like, I don't know, maybe I should, then you really need to weigh out the pros and cons because you don't want to be back in this energy because you want to continue to move forward. Because if you come back to the energy, that means you're going to have to go on another karmic cycle. And that means you're going to have to learn this lesson again and make peace with it again so you can move forward. So, if, um, again, if this is your, so this is, um, if this is your, uh, what did I just say? Now I'm, now I'm getting mixed up. So this is your, um, this is the energy that you want to be here now. So this is your present energy, but you want to be here they're basically saying like in order to continue to move forward to create success for yourself that means a new beginning is on the horizon in order for you to stay consistent on your journey you will start to you will walk into a new beginning especially if you want to be here if you want to be in the new vessel so bad like it, they're telling you you in order for you to do that you need to make sacrifices especially if you're in this present energy right now that means that you are at a resting place that although you are an avid traveler you're still here and you're allowing external forces to affect you and your energy that you will not be able to see this new beginning just yet because of all the illusion and the negativity that's surrounding you that you are going to have to travel out of that energy right now in order to be here especially if you feel stuck here in your present moment right now it says a new beginning the vessel provides the new beginning a new beginning i cannot read today y'all <laughs> a new beginning the vessel provides stable robust foundations for a new life and also the crucible where you can expect to be transformed and remade just as wood becomes fire that makes me think about the phoenix or raw ingredients become food the experiences of life can be blended and transmuted into a meaningful whole. On my podcast, I talked about transmuting negative energy into something positive. So this also can mean that it's asking you, if you find yourself here present at this moment in negative energy, learn how to transmute that into something positive. What do you need to do in order to move into a positive energy? 
and it's asking you what is the vessel for transformation so the vessel can be for anything the vessel can be a new location it can be a new relationship the vessel can mean that your your energy is changing that you're becoming your authentic self and that your vessel to other people are is going to look different it could be something on a physical level, but it also can be something on energy that people will see you in a different light, that you will not be the same person. They're like, damn, you change. Especially if people are questioning you and don't like it, ask that person, even if you if, even if you don't want to engage, it's fine. But really, those people, like you need to ask them, like, why haven't you? Because as a human being, you're supposed to evolve into a better version of yourself. Although I have no control on how you know, you move forward and what you grow from and what you learn from. I, I just want to ask you, why haven't you changed? Why are you the same person? Why do you move the same? Why is your energy the same? It's like, if you have to ask somebody, that means that that's not, that person is not meant to be in your energy. That means you got to continue to move forward because at the end of the day, like if people want to be stuck in the same stagnant energy they were years ago, allow them to do that. Because they're going to continue to live out that karmic cycle over and over again. Whenever it's time for them to move forward, they will. But again, we have no control over that. All we all we need to do is we'll focus on our shadow self and our higher self and our inner child. Like focus on every aspect of ourselves in order to continue to move forward. And y'all see how this this um this reading like because I asked like what does your shadow self want you to know? Like how. Either it doesn't matter what energy you're in now, it's still positive because you're still growing. It's like your shadow self still wants you to grow. And in order for your shadow self to be heard, this is what y'all need to do. Y'all need to continue to move forward and travel because your shadow self is letting you know, like if y'all continue to stay in this present energy, your shadow self is going to become more present in your life. Your ego is going to take over. So you're going to be in a low vibrational state. You're not going to allow new opportunities or beginnings to come in because you're going to fuck it up with your low energy, right? So your shadow self is letting y'all know, like, been there, done that. You don't want to come back here. We want to move forward because remember, when you're moving forward, that means your shadow self is moving along with you. And your shadow self does not want to be stuck in the past because if it's stuck in the past, it's going to feel abandoned. Remember, if your shadow self feels abandoned, then you feel abandoned. So, um... So, yeah, so if you want to see yourself here, you're going to have to ask yourself these hard questions. You're going to have to sacrifice some things because now it's asking you, what are you beginning? Like, what do you want to begin, especially if you want to move here? What are the new beginnings that you want to see for yourself? And it's like, what will you cook? Remember, I talked about the raw ingredients. What, what things or what ingredients do you need in order to make this business work? Or this relationship or anything like what ingredients do you need and a lot of this come from you a lot of these new ingredients will come from your excuse me from yourself in order for you to cook something new for in order for you to create something new for yourself i'm sorry i keep moving but um yeah it's like asking you like what like what new beginning are you is on the horizon for you where do you see yourself moving forward and it is resonates with the questions from here. It says, where are you going? Where are you going? And what is your beginning? And, and like, what do you, would you bring into a new situation? And it resonates with the last question. If you bring something new into a situation, new and raw ingredients, okay, what will you make of that situation? What will you cook? What will you make? What will you transmit? Like, all that. It's like asking you that. So... If um, this is your present energy, now we're moving on to your present energy because I just said that if this was your, let me turn that back around. So this is your present energy right here and you were living in the past, now you're here. This means that continue to move forward that more success and new beginnings are on the horizon for you, right? that the vessel provides the st stable life a life for you a stable life for you especially if something is coming back for you from the past your vessel doesn't require for everybody to be there not everybody's going to be able to fit right so um let me read the the card for that one 
I should have read it like on a while ago, but it's okay. If I can find the thing. Okay. So I'm not going to, um, I'm trying to see, I don't want to read the same thing over and over again. It said the sacred vessel is, let me see if I can see that. The sacred vessel. The sacred vessel is a cast and used in the great ceremonies that inaugurate a new dynasty. The spirits are invited to share in the meal it contains, re renewing their connection with the people. It says just as wood becomes fire. Look, I'm doing it again. I told y'all. Okay, yeah, that's 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 the new thing from the card because I know I don't want to read the same thing over and over again. It says the vessel contains and transforms. So it's like remember, the, like I said, like the vessel is a new cast, like new beginnings. Regardless if you're in this energy now, new beginnings are on the horizon for you. Especially if you are in this energy now, don't fall back. Don't go back to that foreign place that you knew when there was nothing but negativity around you. Now you're at this new vessel. Now you're at this new place where people will know, especially past people will no longer be able to fit in. Especially if it's big as hell, if they're still not able to fit in your kingdom, your legacy. You can't make room for those people. You know why? Because they're going to bring you down. They're going to put you back in a low vibrational state. Continue to move forward because the, your energy will start to manifest the people that are meant for you to be in your life. Remember, this this says renewing their connection with the people. Like, they are, re, like, re, re, reuniting with their soul tribe. And even if it's, like, the same people in your life, especially if they want to continue to move forward and they want to be a better version of themselves, your relationship and your connection with them is going to be new. It's going to be something new for you and for them as well. But again, it, this cause is for you to use your discernment when it comes to inviting past people back into your life. So let me put this um, down. Okay, let me read the, the changing line because I had changing line number two. Remember, the changing line is your your heart perception and your whole your emotional center. It says you have okay. I'm not gonna do that. Nope, not gonna do it. Cause it won't. Well, the book. This book is very very new. So every time I try to like bend it like that, it's just it's weird. Okay, it says you have something real here. It is of genuine, solid value, and no disease or negative mentalities can really touch it. Remember, I talked about y'all's energy, especially when I talked about the um, y'all's heart space from the first hexagram. How, when you are like when you are allowing negative energy and people, or even external forces affect your heart center, you're not going to be connected with yourself. You're going to allow people to control you, manipulate you. But it's here, it's saying, like, you have something real here that deep inside it's always been there, that power that you hold within yourself. That nobody can touch, not even low vibrational people. You will no longer compromise your energy to meet people where they are. Whether they belong to other people or to any other, any inner companions, like, remember, your ego and your shadow self. Remember, your shadow self is not a bad version of you. It's just that it's so used to being in the past and abandoned that sometimes it doesn't know, it can't see its way out. But now it can. Now it's telling you right now that we're moving forward to a new beginning. So you may have worries, desires, or nagging little voices. These afflicted companions do not perceive the value of what you have. They just don't get it. That goes two ways. It means there's nothing here for them. You can't share in the vessel's riches and be nourished. Also, it means that the contents of your vessel, your inner substance, cannot be infected or diminished. And this is good fortune. I literally said, like, about the vessel, um, before I even read that, that people, what these past people, this past energy, especially if this is you now, that they're not going to be able to fit in that vessel because it's not meant for them. It's not meant for where you're going in the future. You're going to have to leave those people behind. 
like oh well you see those people trying to tag along especially if they they bring in their low vibrational ass on with the rest of their 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 things and other people They're like no y'all cannot fit in this vessel with me i'm creating success for myself and you will no longer be able to be within my own vicinity and even if these people are still around you because sometimes when you create a, a legacy or um, a company or whatever there's always going to be somebody negative or has something to say and even if they do even if they do you won't be affected by it because you're like oh look at those people all, all over there in the back mad hating because i because i sacrificed a lot for myself I have to sacrifice myself. I have to have many deaths in this in this lifetime in order to be a better version of myself. Y'all think that just having one death in this lifetime, and I don't, I don't mean physically, but for the ego, like for to be a better version of yourself. Y'all don't think that y'all go through many deaths in this lifetime. It's not just one death. It's it's many. You're gonna have to continue to make sacrifices and to, and to continue to grow and build a foundation within yourself. Cause sometimes. We we build a false sense of self based off of other people's perceptions. That we think that whatever these people, their their opinion or their validation matters because they, they obviously know the best for us. But wrong. They do not. You can only know the best for you. Especially when you um, start to explore the world for yourself. Especially when you start to experience different things. You will catch on quickly like, oh, that's not for me. Like, that, that's me in the past. Like, y'all can have that version of me. Y'all can be codependent on that version of me because that's obviously who y'all want to be. But I'm going to be over here building something new for myself. I'm going to be in a new vessel. So, yeah. But, um, again, like, see yourself on either end of the spectrum. It doesn't matter. Because remember, like I said, this could be you now. But you can easily fall back here. Although I don't want you to do that, you can. Because remember, your energy is, like, it can easily transmute back and forth. It can't be destroyed or anything. It can change all the time. It can really change. And then this could be you now. And, you, and this is, these damn cards. This can be you now, and you want to see yourself moving forward. You want to see yourself here. So it's like, again, the, your journey, your healing journey, this requires for you to be honest with yourself. You have to continue to be honest. Because while being honest with yourself allows you to connect with yourself in so many different ways that you didn't even think was possible for you. Okay, so now that we did the... The I Ching reading, this is y'all's last card. Remember, look, I really love how this is set up. So the first is traveling, the next is the vessel and it's advancing. So like, it's like saying like some of y'all are traveling physically. Some of y'all are actually going to a different place. Meaning that you're gonna become a better version of yourself. You're gonna be in a new environment where you're gonna be different. You're gonna be more connected with yourself. You're gonna be your authentic self which means that you're going to be in a new vessel. And that means you're going to continue to advance on into a different lifestyle that's actually meant for you. And that means you're going to have to leave people behind. It sucks, but hey, it happens. So, some of y'all, if y'all really been on serious about this journey, y'all know what I'm talking about. For the people that don't, y'all will get there, I promise. But you're going to have to continue to, to sacrifice things and, and let go of situations that don't resonate with y'all. I actually think I no, that's not the card. Okay. Okay, let me see. This one, this one's kind of old, so do y'all probably be able to see? Y'all can. If the word bonnet has appeared in your car today, it is time to advance. Do not waste the energy on going backward or staying in the the doldrums. I think I said that right. It says, do not waste your energy on going backwards. What did I tell y'all? Do not waste your energy on going backwards. Especially if you're here, don't do not do that. Especially if you are, even if you're here, don't go back even if, any further. Like, continue to travel forward. Remember, see how this is going in, like, traveling, the vessel, you're advancing. Continue to move forward. Don't go back. and Don't, don't look back, y'all. 
and some something is coming back from y'all in the past and remember use your discernment continue to move forward especially if you know it's not meant for you then leave that shit behind so you are now able to move to the next step on a sacred path like a war bonded chief you you have earned the right to earn oh my god the there's an announcement they're making and it's like messing me up like a war bonded chief you have earned the right to learn the next set of life's mysteries Take your medicine bundle and all the strength it represents and change and charge for it. The advance can be on any level. Your spiritual, physical, mental, and emotional healings are understood through life's experiences. Oh my God, this resonates on so many levels. You can now approach your destiny with every feather you have earned marking your past victories and see the destiny you have chosen emerging before you. Your medicine is strong and will allow the advancement you need at this time. Like, literally. And hopefully, um, if, this if this is a confirmation for some of y'all out there, if y'all been seeing feathers, then this is a confirmation that new, new things are on the horizon for you guys. And in order for you to see this new horizon, y'all are going to have to charge for it. You're going to have to continue to advance. You're going to have to continue to sacrifice an old way of living or perception that does not belong to you in order to, to see the fruits of your label. Labor. The fruits of your labor. Okay. But yeah, like, it's just saying, like, don't. The, the, what really stuck out to me is don't waste your energy on moving, moving backwards. Like, trust me, I've done that before, and sometimes I still do it. Like, sometimes you think, like, something in the past, like, oh, that may, it, it has to be right this time around, but no, it's not. Whatever is coming forward towards y'all from the past or whatever situation resonates with y'all, continue to move forward. Use your own discernment. Don't allow things to pull you back into that energy. Because remember, your energy can change. It can be transmuted from good to bad, negative to the positive, all that. But the divine, your shadow self is telling y'all there are great things coming y'all's way. And yeah, you can be in this energy. You can be in this energy. But it doesn't matter because new beginnings are coming for you. And even if you see yourself here, you're, you're moving there. And even if you're here, you're going to continue to advance moving forward. Especially if you don't allow the past to drag you back to those foreign places that you know is not your home. So, yeah, that is it for today's reading. You know, again, I hope this resonates with you guys. Um, and, yeah, just don't forget to share, like, and subscribe uh, for, you know, my channel. You know, I'm really glad that you guys are here showing me some love. I know this is going to be a, another journey that I'm embarking on, especially when it comes to this YouTube, because it took me a while to really make the decision on whether or not I should actually do these readings but then i have to ask myself like am i holding myself back because of something that i had like of my insecurity or am i allowing other people's choices or how they view me to dictate how who i will be in the future and it can be just one or the other or it can just be both but i decided it was really both that my insecurity came from how other people saw me especially how i was in the past I was like, if they find that I'm doing this, what if they say this and that? But I was like, you know what? Who gives a damn? Like, I don't care. I can say what y'all want to say, whatever. But I had to make the decision, and now I'm here. So thank y'all for embarking me on this journey. Um, I did see myself in this reading as well. So it was great to channel for you guys, but also to give myself some answers and guidance and clarity along the way. So, you know, I will talk to y'all um, again next week, and I hope y'all have a good day.